When I first start uh, working with the student, uh, we look at the four key movements, loading the body with leverage, pushing off the backside, making sure our angles are correct is the third one, and then uh, locking out at contact. Right now I want to do a, a short little uh, clip, voiceover, regarding the third key movement. And what I like to say is we want to stack it and whack it. What I find is uh, the back elbow can really cause major problems and in my opinion is the cause of most uh, inefficiencies, particularly in uh, youth swings. And what I want to do is we got uh, Jen Yi here on the left hand side. Uh, the line here is showing her hands, how we want to keep those hands on the line. Please pay particular attention to her back elbow right here. And what I want you to note is how it stays nice and free and does not get stuck behind the body. Uh, you can see right here how it's able to flow through. So typically when I'm working with students, I'm constantly encouraging them to let that back elbow flow through. You can see right now the bat is pointed straight back. Her hands are still on the line. And this is what is going to give you that whipping action. So frequently a player will do some type of a twisting action, uh, a loading action that gets this back elbow uh, trapped right here behind the body. And when that occurs, uh, that's where a coach thinks that the player is dropping their back shoulder. Um, they can't get extension. Well, they can't because that back elbow got stuck behind them. And then they also wonder why you know, they can't get their hands through the zone, uh, get jammed on inside pitches. Uh, in fact, a lot of their uh, adjustability and uh, plate coverage is lost because they can't get uh, that, those hands through and allow that bat to whip into the zone. And again, it all is because of poor functioning uh, a poor movement pattern with this back elbow. Uh, we got Jessica Mendoza here on the right hand side and you'll see a little bit of a different load with the back elbow. She doesn't start it up high as Jen Yi does. She keeps it down but again you'll be able to see as she comes through how that back elbow is nice and free. And we don't want it to get way outside the body because remember, whenever one, another one of our principles is to keep that angle right there um, as long as possible. But then you can see how this bat in a straight, allowing uh, those wrists to remain caught until we release the bat head into the zone. But stack it. Get good angles and whack it and make sure that back elbow is not getting trapped behind the player. Allow that elbow to flow through and uh, you'll definitely see some improvement, some more whipping action, more play adjustability, more power. And I think those are things that everybody would like to have in their swing.